colonoscopy. Medical circumstances would admit to a coronary and would admit to what he said he was suffering from, which was uh, poisoning, particularly, he said, a food poisoning. Later on, somebody said, well, you know, the KGB did him in. I said, oh, yeah, I hear these rumors. You know, I have no reason to believe that. But now, eight days on, Theresa May came to the Commons. In her hands, one of the most remarkable statements she's delivered as Prime Minister. It is now clear that Mr Skripal and his daughter were poisoned with a military-grade nerve agent of a type developed by Russia. This is part of a group of nerve agents known as Novichok. It causes suffocation and heart failure. I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, there was a TV program recently, I mean, this was a decade later, where they were interviewing an ex-KGB agent who had been involved uh, with an assassination squad. And um, they, the interviewer had asked him, you know, what do you do, how, you know, how do you carry out assassination? If we had somebody who was a target, we'd find out what their medical profile was, and then we would do something that would uh, cause that medical condition to go south quickly, and then it'd just be assumed it was uh, a medical event. And that way, we would we would be you know wouldn't be found out, and uh, and so the interviewer, I'm told, I haven't seen this program yet. I'm going to find it. The interviewer, uh, the interviewer said, "Well, did you ever actually use that approach?" They said, "Yeah, once on a psychic who worked for the CIA."